So this is the F-Spy replacement within Blender. Perspective plotted by the legendary Marks Kings North. So you install the add-on, normally edit preferences, install, find the add-on, double click, wham bam, thank you ma'am, and it's in. However, when you press N, it does not exist on the right hand side until you are in camera mode and there is P-Plotter. Now the first thing we need to do is select the camera, go into the camera, background images. Let's add an image, open, find our image, double click, and we can see that we've got our kitchen. Let's now open up Pete Plotter, background unmatched. So the image is not the same scale as the camera. So if we come up into here, we can see what the resolution is. Background unmatched. We can see that. <laughs> we can now see that the size is now correct. The magic bit. From here, we go into plot perspective. And for those of you who have used FSpy, to get your image into the correct perspective of a photo, you will know this. So let's go ahead and start lining this up. What I will do is press Z and go into wireframe mode. What you do is select the point, click and drag into whatever you want. So I'm gonna line it up with this border and what I'll do is quickly do all four of them. And there we go, we should now have that into perspective. So if I just move the cube into its position, we can see that now this cube is pretty much sitting exactly how the scene is meant to go. Sick. Now the reason why I started using the cupboard here, we can see that it's just like me living at home. I always leave the cupboards ever so slightly open. So we know that this line here is not, or there's a good chance it's not parallel to the floorboards or this roof. So that's just something to keep in mind. When you're lining something up, it needs to be parallel. Even this cupboard here might not be parallel with the wall, depending if they did push it up against the wall. So that's just something to keep in mind. So from here, what we can do is we can go into edit mode. Um, what I might do is delete this face here and all vertices, just so we're looking at this wall. Let's go GZ. And you know how this works. Let's go GY. And as you can see, as I'm moving along the axis, GZ. There we go, we're lining that up. Let's put an edge loop through here. E to extrude along the Y axis, like so. And then technically we could go extrude on the X axis. Uh, let's now scale it, scale it on the Y axis. And then we can go E to extrude Z. Lovely jubblies. Select that edge E, Y. Oops, sorry, X. And you can see that now we're a little bit off. Now this could be for multiple reasons. It could be there's a small like fish eye on there. Um, this floorboard might not be actually parallel with this or even these lines. So that's something to keep in mind. However, I am more than happy with this. Uh, it all depends how much work put into it. I'm gonna guesstimate like that. E to extrude along the X axis all the way to that wall. Sick. And so like that, you can see that we're building up this scene quite nicely. Very simply, great add-on by Mark Kings North. Now there's plenty of features that I haven't even touched, but I think I will be showing that off soon enough because this is amazing balls. And then once you've kind of like built it up, we can go tab into edit mode, select everything with A, U, project from view. And then we can come up into shading, let's go Search, add image texture, throw it into the diffusing McDiffuse hues. We should have an image in there and hopefully everything looks a little bit funky. However, if we come in here and I start putting in edge loops to kind of start smoothing things out, you can see that the lines start straightening, straightening up. Uh, obviously, you know, because this is in the picture, we will have that. What the heck is going on down here? And the reason for kind of like this being off the edge, that's because in UV Unwrap, if we actually have a look, we can see that our mesh is actually hanging off the edge. So that's why we're getting all this blackness because it's kind of like warping. It doesn't know what to actually do. So for instance, this surface here is coming all the way out. Let's maybe pick this bottom one. This bottom one's all the way down here, but if we come in and start adding that extra geometry, we should clean it up. Please do, and don't make me a liar. There we go. Sick. 
<laughs> and then when we kind of start moving around the environment, you can see that we've already started UV unwrapping quite nicely. Obviously, a little bit more playing around needs to be done, but that is the very quick gist of it. Perspective plotter. <laughs>